There was never a meal, say, that Mrs. Rosal didn't come in the kitchen after the meal was over and say how lovely it was. I can remember one time Mrs. Rosal said to dinner, and it seems that most of the ladies that came were on diets. And this particular night, Mrs. Rosal had a dinner that consisted of uh, certain things like mashed potatoes and baked macaroni. And then at the table for dessert that night, we had Mrs. Rosal's favorite pancake dessert. Four pancakes the size of a frying pan. And between each pancake, you used to pour maple syrup. The top pancake, you put maple sugar. Well, it seems that uh, this particular dinner, the women didn't eat hardly any potatoes or hardly any baked macaroni and not much of the pancake dessert. And Mrs. Ozel come out in the kitchen and she said, Marge, your meal was delicious. Everybody loved it. She said, Mrs. Ozel, mind if I tell you something? She said, no, Marge, go ahead. What is it? She said, I think your meal was atrocious. Mrs. Rosa was surprised, and she says, why, Marge? Well, she said, you had potatoes, you had macaroni, and you had pancakes. And she said, none of the women ate much of it because it all came back. And she said, because you're on diets. Well, what Mrs. Rosa's answer to my wife finally was, Marge, she says, you know something? She says, I think I'm going to let you make the menus from now on. Nobody but nobody ever made Mrs. Rosal's menus because we had a day book. And when she came home on Friday, she would give us that day book on Saturday with the guests and the meals and how many there would be. But she always made her own menus until my wife told her this particular dinner was atrocious. And then from then on, Mrs. Rosal used to come home. The first thing she would say to my wife, Marge, what are we having for dinner?